Over the last few weeks, we've been working really hard to convert the nose of our 32-passenger commercial airplane into a living space. We've done the windows, we've done the floors, we've done a lot of painting, and today it's time to work on some closet space for storage. The first thing that David's working on is cutting some boards to make some shelves to go on the left side of the entrance of the cockpit area. After cutting the shelves to fit just perfectly in this space, now it is time to finish this area by adding a bunch of paint and some other finishing touches. As you can see, we already started storing a bunch of our stuff on them, so the first task was to clear off those shelves, vacuum them, and then get a coat of paint on them. Obviously, this space is a little bit challenging to paint because there's lots of different nooks and crannies in it, so this project took a little longer than I anticipated, especially since this happened mid-project. I don't even know what to do with this. Yeah, I don't either. Why'd you kick it over? <laughs> How do you? Why'd you leave your cup in a terrible oh place? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awful. Thanks for your help. Uh, gotta document it. Hey, you got some in your hair, right? <laughs> right there. It's not the point. <laughs> This hole. It's really just oh, like no. going down there. I don't even know what it's doing. I can't make it stop. It's, it's probably... It's probably filled it. That's probably... It probably doesn't go through. So that will forever be white, probably. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna wrap this. Put the damn camera down. Please <laughs> start helping. One step forward, two steps back. <laughs> I don't know, probably the best bet is to just sand it off and then repile your thing. I don't know. Yeah, probably, I don't think. I mean, the other option is that goof off stuff, and but it's. I don't know if that's going to be any quicker. Well, it might be when it's wet. Or it's... Yeah. Unless we have like a strong bristle brush, maybe. Well, that was some unnecessary rework that we just had to do, uh, but we did learn that you can get spilled paint off of a polyurethane wood floor with Goo Gone. That was what seemed to work the best. And then a green, like more abrasive scrubby, the just rag worked okay too, but the green abrasive scrubby definitely was better. It was definitely still kind of wet because it came off easier than some spots that I tried getting off that were a little bit older, but um, definitely was not gonna wash off with just water and a rag. Lesson learned, don't pour a full cup of paint for your husband and Goo Gone gets paint off floors. After that crisis was averted, it was back to painting. After that first initial coat of paint, the closet was starting to look a lot nicer. We decided we were going to remove the shelves to paint them. So that's why that bottom shelf is not painted. We decided we're not gonna paint the shelves white just yet because I'm pretty sure we wanna paint that some kind of a blue. 
think we're gonna go with the blue accent color inside the plane. Uh, so we're gonna do the shelves that color. We've painted things white in the past before and they just wear out really easily. They look really dirty. And if that's a place where people are putting luggage and things, we wanna make sure that it's going to hold up through that. So I think we're gonna go with a blue on those shelves there. Just kidding, we decided that the blue was a little too bright. We would rather do something less permanent as an accent in blue. Plus we had some gray paint available that we could start working on painting those right away, which was pretty important because the warm weather is definitely a hot commodity that we won't have much more of. So we wanted to get as much painting as we could done before the winter really starts setting in. I always question, is this actually gonna be any good? It looks just ruined. Let's see. Supposed to be a gray color. Yeah, it's coming around. So here's the first board that didn't have a layer of white. And it's drying a little bit funky. I think it'll be a lot better with the second coat. This is the one that already had some white on it. That one seems to look a little better. Overall, I think, I think it's gonna be a good color for them though. The whole time I was painting, I kept feeling like I was smelling this weird laundry detergent or cleaner smell, and it was so weird, I just couldn't figure out where the smell was coming from. All right, this is what we have after two coats. This is the one that didn't have a white base layer. This is the one that did have a white base layer. Bro, I think, I think it looks really nice. Finally figured out why that paint smells so weird. Apparently it's scented paint. I do not recommend. <laughs> All right, so the thermostat broken. Wow, it might work still, but either way, we were looking at this and now's our chance to move it if we're gonna move it. I feel like uh, having a hot, like thermostat right in the middle of this area just kind of throws off the genuine airplane feel. So I think we're gonna actually move this. Um, oh, yeah, I like it. I think <laughs> we should move it. You gonna come up here? But uh, we're gonna move that thermostat instead of having it here. We're hoping maybe we can put it somewhere here because there's a lot of uh, controls and all the controls are kind of over in this area. I'm a little nervous about having it this close to the door though. The thermostat might run a lot. It should be sealed off pretty good, but coming in and out, different things, might not be a good idea to put it here. And then I'm like, oh, this is a perfect spot. And then I was like, no, no it's not, you know. Maybe it is. It'll hit that, so plus, if somebody's sitting in there, it's gonna block the thermostat, so. I don't think we can do that. And then we were thinking, oh, maybe mount it up high, or it's gonna throw off the temperature, so if you have a good idea on where to place this thing, leave it in the comments. For today, I think what we're gonna do is just remove it. We'll come up with a plan later, uh, but that way, uh, when we reupholster this section here, we can um, kind of cover that hole where it was, and then cover the hole on the back side, and it's gonna it's just gonna make it look a lot better and cleaner. That's kind of what we were thinking, possibly. We also were thinking about using shiplap to cover this side. So that's originally kind of the thought which is fine for this side. And then we were like, well, maybe we should do it to this side too, you know? But the problem is gonna be once we get up to here. I could modify this, but we originally thought this space would be good for um, having a, a dowel in here to be able to hang clothes. So, but it's super tight. So if you yeah. put the shiplap up, a hanger will really not fit Yeah, there. a hanger's not gonna fit. It's gonna hit here. 
where before her hanger fit perfect. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know if we should essentially leave this side open and just, just ship lap this side. And even then, I don't even know if the hanger is going to work. Yeah. Or try to find a hanger that hangs lower, almost like a hanger that you can hang hangers off. Yeah. But it's not a super long space, so even exactly. like a men's shirt wouldn't really if yeah. you put it too low, it's not going to fit. So we might have to scrap that idea completely. Or just more use it for like, put bags and other stuff. Yeah. While we were unsure exactly how much of the space we were going to end up shiplapping, we were pretty sure we wanted to put up the sticker backsplash. We had all the supplies for that, so we went ahead and got to work on that right away. David added in a board as a stopper so that when we put in the shiplap, it would be nice and even. Unfortunately, we glued it before putting on the sticker backsplash, which wasn't ideal. Why don't you just tuck it behind that board to make your life really easy? Yeah, glued and nailed already. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> that should work though. Only something. <laughs> Think. Looking good. Did you come to admire your backsplash? <laughs> oh, me! I did not work at all. <laughs> it's terrible. Terrible. It looked good. You said it looked good before. Unfortunately, the backsplash didn't turn out exactly like we planned. Check out next week's video. It's popping up here to see exactly what happened, how we fixed it, and how the shiplap ended up going.